Guys, Tim Morse with Tactical Response. Uh, we're going to continue on this series about shotguns. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is slings for shotguns. So uh, you need a sling on your shotgun for obvious reasons. I consider the sling for the shotgun the same way I do a holster for a pistol. Uh, it's there for a reason. And what I mean by a sling on a shotgun is if you're moving with it, and let's say you're doing house clearing because you have to, you're going to find a kid, you heard breaking glass in the house, and you got a kid in another room and you're going to go for that child and get it to your room, uh, I want that shotgun with me. And if I have to let the gun hang, you know, on the sling because I'm doing something with my hands like picking the kid up, opening the door, climbing the ladder, whatever it may be, uh, that sling's there for a purpose. So I, every one of my go-to guns has a sling on it, uh, whether it be a rifle or a shotgun. But we're talking about shotguns here. So let's talk about single point and two point slings and three points. Uh, number one, I, let's see three point sling off the board right away. I hate sleep three point slings. I think they're a bad idea. There's too many adjustments on that thing and, and you can pull the wrong, slip the wrong thing. And I've seen a guy on, on the range with his lips turning blue. He had a three point on and he couldn't figure out the, which one released it. And uh, he was standing there choking himself to death. So uh, I'm not a fan of three point sling. So let's go to two point and one point. On a pump gun, <clears throat> I want a single point sling and I want it somewhere back here on the gun. As you notice, this is one of the rental guns we use, uh, old 870 police buyback. Uh, it has a single point sling on it. Uh, the reason I like a single point sling on a pump gun is uh, if I had it attached up here let me back up here where you can see it. If I had it attached up here like a traditional sling would be attached on a on a shotgun in the front. If I go to rack the gun and I grab a wad full of sling in my hand trying to rack the gun, it's going to get in the way and preclude me from, from racking the gun like it's supposed to be done, which is vigorously and quickly. Uh, so I'm not a fan of a two-point sling on a pump gun for that reason. Uh, number two reason, this happens some, and you can get around this through training and through practice, uh, when I reload the gun, when I put it up here to reload it, because I want my head up looking where the threat's at, if I go to reload it, a lot of times the sling is sitting right down here in front of the, the uh, magazine where I'm going to put the rounds at so it precludes that, and i got to push it out of the way to get those rounds in. So I'm not a fan of that either. So on a, on a pump gun, I want a single point sling. Now let's talk about attachments for this single point sling. This has a standard buckle and tension and device where you just wrap it around the the pistol grip of the of the shotgun. Uh, some people like that, some people don't, because because you can when you grab it, grab it. Uh, that buckle's there. If it's in the wrong place, it's like fitting in your hand incorrectly, and it just gets in the way. Another way I like to do it, the my, more my preferred way to do it is, I'll show you with this one. This has got an attachment for the sling. The sling's not on it, but this is just 550 cord. Uh, uh, this is a single round of 550 cord wrapped around it. Now, this is not done very well. There's a huge knot right here, but you can uh, trim those down, and I'll show you that on the semi-automatic in a minute. Uh, it's got a double wrap, but it's not a big of, uh, of a, a wad in your way. So I like a 550 cord. I like that a lot for attachment point. Uh, on some of, the, uh, some of these S, uh, slings like this, uh, you have an attachment point right back here. You could just fill it in, to, uh, put it into here. That's a standard attachment point on these Magpul furniture stock guns. So I'm a big fan of those as well. You can put it back here and not even put it around the pistol grip. Just put it back here and, and attach it there, either with 550 cord or which is a standard one. Uh, other methods of attaching them, uh, we have, this is a H&K type attachment adapter. Uh, I will use this as well. Now, the thing I don't like about it, I don't like metal on metal because it makes noise. That may sound trivial, but I will use 550 cord around something and then uh, attach this to it because then I've only got one piece of metal up there. It's not hitting like a, a D ring or something else that's metal and making a bunch of racket. I'm a fan of the H&K style stuff, uh, but uh, again, I don't want to make a bunch of racket with it, so I'll probably put some other type of connection point there, not metal. Uh, on a two, on a semi-automatic gun, you can have a two-point sling uh, because it doesn't preclude you from, from uh, racking the gun. Since we're going to be running the bolt release and the charging handle back here, it won't preclude that from happening. But if you notice on this one too, right here, that's that 550 cord I told you about. I'm very, uh, very much on it. And this, this actually, this whole strap here, the mounting strap, 
it was built with a 550 a couple of eyelets here it was built with a 550 cord to facilitate this I, you really can't see it but the 550 cord's got two knots and goes through two holes so uh it, it mounts that way let's talk about uh i like soe gear and this is an soe sling and you'll notice it's got some give to it i like that i'm a big fan of soe slings uh, the other thing that, uh, and we'll talk about it later more in depth when that segment comes, but what else you need on that sling? So guys, maybe this helps you guys out. Uh, just a quick talk about slings. You do need a sling on a shotgun, guys. You do. If it's going to be a, a, a defensive gun, something even for home use, you go, well, I don't need a sling. I'm not going outside my house. Yeah, you may need to let it hang on your body while you're moving through the house to do something else. So you definitely need a sling on a shotgun just as you would on a rifle. Uh, just remember, uh, that sling needs to be usable. Just like the, like I said, the holster for the pistol, it needs to be a good quality sling. It needs to be attached well, where it won't come off uh, when you're using it. Uh, and so hopefully this will help you guys out. Thank you for watching. Remember your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.